unit. I mean, well, and too, like in practices, uh, I know Josh will rotate in sometime. Like all the tackles rotate. So, I mean, whether it's, you know, it doesn't really matter who's next to me because, you know, they all can play at a super high level. So, like, it wasn't anything going in the game where I was worried or anything like that. I mean, it, you know, just getting back to business and there, it, it, there was no drop off at all. Wyatt, uh, Josh Allaby stepped in next to you against Nebraska, was named offensive player of a game. Just how well you were obviously playing next to him, how well do you feel like he stepped in this offensive line last week? No, I, I think he definitely deserved that award. And um, I mean, he's just, like I said, he's a guy that he doesn't really say much, kind of just keeps his head in the grind. And the fact that he was able to go out, like I said earlier, to have a performance like that, I mean, just tells you how much of a student of the game he is. I mean, when we were out there, you know, I didn't have to explain to him nothing but what the defense was doing. You know, he's over here making calls. He's being loud. And, it was, you know, it felt like he's been doing this. Is there any difference for you between lining up next to Brandon and lining up next to Josh? No, not at all. Except maybe one's a, lot, a little bit more taller than me. It makes me look a little bit more smaller. That would probably be the only difference. How much is it a luxury for you guys to have someone like Josh who isn't a starter but has the experience that he has and can step in on either side of the line? Oh, it's, it's huge for us because, yeah, he could, he could either play right or left. And just that versatility alone is, you know, a good trait to have as an offensive lineman because, you know, you never know what's going to happen during the season. So, I mean, he, I feel like he does a great job either right tackle or left. So, yeah, no, it's very key for us, especially down the road with these hard couple games. Hey, Wyatt, how does Nick look in practice to you? Like Nick Petit, yeah. um, No, nah, he's, de he's been developing well. Um, I feel like, you know, he's been taking in the coaching that's been getting taken to him, and he's just trying to apply it now. And he's definitely been coming along. Um, and, you know, he's another guy that kind of, he doesn't say much really. He just does what he's told, works hard. So. I, I'm I'm happy with the progress he's making. He's he's made a lot of strides, especially from fall camp. But he's still looking encouraged. I know you know, he was the backup. Right time yeah, no, I mean he he's looking encouraged because I mean that's kind of another thing that I tell him too is, you know, just because maybe it's not going your way right now. I mean, especially for me and how my like mid season how it kind of just took off. Um, you know, you gotta be ready for it when your numbers call, which is kind of the saying we say around here because you honestly never know. It could be practice and someone gets tweaked and then boom you're up and now you're, you have to be ready to play so he's he's still encouraged because I mean I think he's played in most of the games so I mean just the fact alone that he's able to get out there and contribute is, is really big for him to keep. Wait, what makes Michigan State defensive line so good? Um, they're very well coached I mean their technique they all play with a low pad level you know, they, they don't stop. Like, it doesn't matter if you knock them down, they're going to get back up and keep trying to make the play. And um, and that's just kind of their defense alone. And, you know, they're a very tough defense. And it's going to be another great challenge for us. Will this be the te best test to date for you guys up front? Um, the way it, they like to stud, it, you know? Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Everything. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, what, I mean or, or how, how good are they at that aspect of the game? Just making you line up one way and coming, you know, twisting, stunning, all that kind of stuff. Oh, no, they're very good and they're very efficient. I mean, you don't see guys out of their gap. Yeah. You know, they, they, um, you know, when they signal in whatever gap they're going to, they're going to stay in that gap yeah. and protect it. They're not going to do anything out of the ordinary. They're very sound and they play their gaps very well. All right, there's, there's some plays you guys have had, especially the last couple of weeks, that you could almost put on a clinic tape about how to block, you know, oh, play you. and stuff. But I'm just... Where, where does this chemistry come from so fast, do you think, for you guys up front? You know, I just feel like it's kind of just been this way even since spring ball, just coming back after this season and all the, you know, doubt and expectation. Um, like, we didn't really have very high expectations just from, you know, outside sources coming in. And I feel like that's been really fueling our fire. So, and too, just the love for that we have for each other. Um, you know, we're not out here doing it for ourselves and the name on the back. We're doing it for the name in the front, which is the Ohio State Buckeyes. So, as long as we keep on doing that, we're going to keep on progressing well. Justin said he and uh, JJ took the line out uh, for dinner the other night. Yeah. Was, was that nice? Was that the, kind of the first time you guys had done that this year? Yeah, that was the first time we did that this year. We were trying to do it for a while, and yeah, it, it was really nice. We, we went to Benny Hanna. It was, it was good camaraderie, too. We were all able to, you know, chop it up and actually chase Young and. Uh, Justin Fields and KJ came too, so yeah, it was actually a lot of fun. Who, who put down the most? Uh, I'd probably either say Jonah or Josh Allaby because they had they got sushi in the beginning, and yeah, they got the whole deal.
Yeah, they got the whole deal. Has so, anything about the way you've played as a line surprised you? Even, you know, going through spring, you talked about the camaraderie and whatnot, but has it surprised you how well you guys have done through these first five games? No, I mean, just because it's the expectation. Um, you know, the stuff that we've been doing, that's what we're supposed to do. And, you know, obviously I feel like that we still can do a lot better and that there was a lot of mistakes that we made in the Nebraska game that we could fix, and me personally as well. So um, it's, it's not really been a surprise. It's just the expectation that you receive when you get here. That's what you're supposed to do. And, you know, especially for me seeing the past couple lines, I mean, that's always been an expectation just to move people off the ball. How remarkable was it knowing Josh Alvey's been practicing at left tackle all until last week? How remarkable was it the way he played the other night, Wyatt? I mean, that's what you do for a living is yeah. play I mean, it was just, football. You know, it was pretty unbelievable just because of the fact that, you know, here, here he is taking all left tackle pass sets and all that, and then, boom, something happens, and now he's playing right tackle. And, I mean, just the, the way he was able to get down, like he didn't look awkward in his pass sets at all or in his stance and in yeah. the run game too. I mean, he was coming off and – you know, getting after people. So, I mean, it, it was very impressive. And like I said, he definitely deserves that award. And one of the quick guys, Josh Myers, how well is he playing at center? Because he's not only been, knock on wood probably, flawless with his snaps, but mm -hmm. he's getting the second level extremely quick for a center on oh, yeah. occasion, things like that. But just how well is he playing in your book? Oh, he, he's playing extremely well. I mean, he, he's like our quarterback out there, especially in that game and that loud environment. Uh, we had no issues knowing what the calls were. I mean, he was sitting down, yelling confidently what, who we're going to, what we're doing. I mean, like he, he you know, he's a leader and he guides us, so yeah. he's been doing a great job at it. Hey, midway through the first quarter, they had a kid. They, I think J.K. ran ran the right end, and uh, Josh was blocking on a linebacker, and ended up and then a the guy hit Josh. Yeah, and he flew back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you? Uh, that kid got suspended. You know, the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, do you? All I saw was him land on top of him, kind of use his helmet. Did you see anything else after that? Yeah. Um, there was a you know, swing involved? Yeah, I mean, there was stuff that, shouldn't have, that he shouldn't have done. Yeah. Uh, yeah but, it was with it. You know, it was football stuff happening. So, yeah. yeah. Appreciate yeah. it, Mickey. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Wyatt.